More details are emerging tonight about the man charged in connection with the stabbing spree in a Vancouver apartment building. Police now say the suspect had been staying in the building where several people were attacked. As Sonia Sunger is here to tell us, co-workers are shocked to hear about the man's apparent involvement in such a violent act. Sonia. Robin, we are learning more today about the suspect involved in a violent attack in this West End apartment building on Thursday night that left seven people injured. Police have identified the suspect as Jerome Bonarique. The 33-year-old man is facing 12 assault charges after he allegedly attacked people at random. Witnesses say the man was wielding a knife and then a hammer. Six people were rushed to hospital with significant injuries. According to the suspect's LinkedIn profile, he has a master's degree in real estate and a bachelor's degree in business law from two different French schools. He worked in real estate for BNP Paribas in Paris before he moved to Canada and took on a job with a wholesale bakery in the Lower Mainland. Bonarique worked as a sales rep for Oliver's Breads in Port Coquitlam. His former co-workers tell us he quit his job two months ago. They call him polite and say he had a girlfriend. Those who know the suspect are shocked to learn about the charges. He seems to be a nice guy. I've never seen him like he's lost it or anything like that. He's been, he jokes around with us and that I remember. So, I mean, to hear that is like, wow. Vancouver police believe Bonarik was staying with a friend in the West End apartment building where the attack took place on Thursday night. Today, we heard from the daughter of two of the victims. And they were, my mother was beaten and kicked and hit with a hammer. My dad was just knocked out as far as I can tell, but he looks pretty bad too. We do not know if Bonarique had any connection to the victims in this attack or if he had any mental illnesses. However, investigators say he was not known to police. Bonarique remains in police custody until his scheduled court appearance on Monday. Back to you, Robin. Sonia Sanger reporting tonight. Thanks very much, Sonia.